What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I do hope you lot are all doing well today and welcome to today's news video, which isn't transfer related, isn't about players going out or in. It's about concrete kind of information regarding the restart of the Premier League and how we expect football to return and what the situation is at present. I want to talk about three things in today's video. One is Project Restart when football can maybe will return. Two is the news of the contract extensions being given the green light so Chelsea won't be left in a hole for when football does resume. And also I want to talk about the neutral venue situation that caused up the biggest controversial stir among Premier League clubs. How apparently that might be pushed aside and I want to give my opinion on what it means basically. So lots of important stuff to talk about and if you want daily updates from YouTube regarding football, more notably Chelsea Football Club, please do subscribe to Football Therapy because I am uploading daily. Why not sub, hit the bell notifications icon and like the video man. All right, let's get on with it. Ah, so indeed, we have been without the beautiful game for some time now and for good reason. Uh, health will always come first over football, but as things move along around the world regarding the pandemic, people are starting to plan for the resumption of football. And the Premier League are desperate to get things going, not just because it's a sort of multi- billion pound industry but also people want to play football with their livelihood you know people want to watch football as much as you know the government and the population don't want people being at risk there is an element of football coming back will make people happy and happier to stay indoors and self-isolate with the Bundesliga starting next weekend, the Premier League have an opportunity to put them under the microscope and see what they're doing right, what they're doing wrong. And fortunately for us, the Germans are usually very efficient at this sort of stuff, so hopefully things go okay over there and England and the Premier League can follow suit. It does look like League One and League Two will be cancelled, which brings a whole host of problems to those clubs in those leagues in terms of financial difficulty. But I'm not going to talk about that today. The championship does hang in the balance, but the Premier League wants to return as soon as it's safe to do so. And the government has given the green light. Well, the way they worded it, they said there'll be no sport until after the 1st of June, which people have interpreted the return of football June onwards, the Premier League can return. So what's that going to be? Like the 8th of June, maybe? People have spoken about that date being the return date. So that's a pretty big news, man. Of course, football will be behind closed doors and there will be a new certain set of rules. No celebrations together, no shaking hands, um, you know, no spitting apparently, which is a weird one. I mean, I understand why they're saying it, but that's going to be quite hard for footballers to retrain their minds not to spit when they're running around concentrating. It's gross, but it's part of the game. And we as spectators are going to have to get used to no fans in the stadium, probably piped in crowd noises. But still, we all have to compromise and the return will ultimately be a good thing for all, hopefully. So Chelsea Football Club can resume their season, try and solidify fourth place, bring in all these players that were injured prior and have had time to get better, but obviously getting fit is going to be a massive, massive thing. And hopefully Chelsea can solidify a Champions League spot and move forwards. I mean, everything hangs in the balance now. The season paused when Chelsea were in a really good vein of form. They obviously beat Liverpool in the FA Cup, they beat Everton 4-0 in the Premier League and they were looking good so hopefully they can pick up that form again but it's hard to say what's going to happen. Apart from the green light being given for the Premier League to return, also the contract extension idea has been granted so Chelsea Football Club and Frank Lampard won't be left in a super tight spot for the resumption of the season. They will be able to give contract extensions to the players until the season is resumed. Those players, the likes of Willian and Pedro, obviously played a lot for Frank Lampard, certainly Willian did. Big, big player for the uh, Chelsea coach. He will actually be allowed to stay at the club, finish the season before he goes to look elsewhere for a new club. Willian said himself he would be happy to do this if this is the case a few weeks ago. This is the case, 
So if he's true to his word, he'll stay at Chelsea Football Club, he'll sign the extension to play with the Blues until the season concludes, and that's one concern of Frank Lampard and Chelsea Football Club's mind. I'm assuming Pedro will do the same, because he actually did play well in a couple of games in the latter stages of when uh, the season was being played. Of course, before he looked like a busted flush, really, he is quite old now, and he's got really good industry in terms of running, but it did look worrying in terms of I just look like he couldn't really offer Chelsea much anymore, but still, it's an extra player, it's an extra forward. Maybe he'll sign the extension as well, hang around and see if Chelsea can do well. Right, let's talk about the neutral venues thing, which I thought was kind of weird, man. Playing the rest of the season in neutral venues. At first, I thought this was to do with like a sort of cleanliness thing, like keeping certain places clean and under certain authorities, like, th like third party authorities that clean it. The teams come in, play football, but apparently, I've heard somewhere that it's to do with fans not turning up at the stadiums, which is pretty dumb. They should just, you know, a vicinity, an area around the stadium corner off. Don't let people in close. They know they won't be able to get into the stadium. So it's not even like they'll be able to hear the loud noise inside because it's going to be quiet inside the stadiums because it's behind closed doors. Loads of clubs took issue with this concept, uh, notably the more smaller clubs, which again confused me because I thought <laughs> you could get an advantage when you're playing at home when you've got your home fans, surely because they jeer you up, there's an intimidating atmosphere for the opposition. But when they're empty, they're pretty much neutral stadiums anyway. Am I right or am I wrong? Or do they literally go, oh look, there's a blue post I know that's my home stadium therefore I'm more comfortable playing here it's maybe it's like familiar surroundings surely not man like a pitch is a pitch with no fans just me saying of course there's the small things like dimensions of pitches are slightly different so maybe they're more used to playing on their size of the pitch and I was at White Hart Lane Tottenham were more comfortable playing on their pitch there could be something in that but generally I think it's nonsense but the fact of the matter is loads of clubs actually got frustrated with that concept and apparently the Premier League are overturning this so clubs can play in their home stadiums it does look like which is fair enough it's a bit of a silliness to be honest to me but whatever as long as everything's kept clean and you know regulated then hopefully it's safe and yeah I guess with Chelsea perhaps if the hotel's not still being used by the NHS um, you know, the players, some players can stay there before, I don't know, we'll have to see. When it comes to the resumption of football, it is all up in the air. You can understand, for a multitude of reasons, why the authorities, the players, the clubs, and hey, even the government to a degree want football to resume. But like many things, it's going to be a huge risk. We're going to see how it works, you know, what if a few players test positive, for, um, for the virus. Does, does that throw everything in the balance? Obviously in the Bundesliga, a couple of players did and a, you know already a fixture has to be cancelled and they have to self-isolate for two weeks. Um, so, you know, that's already one game away from the opening weekend. They're still going ahead with it, but what if more players test positive? Does the whole thing collapse? It's a difficult and interesting one. I, like all of you, miss football and I want to see it back. But I am still torn in many ways of how I think things should go. I guess, see how the Germans deal with it, if they can be careful with it and do it safely, then I'll be more inclined to welcome back the Premier League in the, into English football. We'll have to see, but I'm really interested in getting your thoughts and opinions on this situation, because it's kind of a complex and delicate situation there. So express yourself down in the comments section below, and I want to hear your thoughts. Um, a little plug, quickly, for my second channel, Jens Yard, where I'm starting to do different things on the platform, play different games, do different live streams. Um, I'm going to start playing, I've been playing FIFA 20 Chelsea career mode, it's a lot of fun, a lot of you guys like it, uh, you've been helping me build a team and giving me tips how to play, but I want to start doing a pro clubs team as well, <laughs> I need to learn a little bit about it first, but if you want to join the team and play, you're welcome to do so, you have to join the Discord, uh, but go subscribe to Jan's Yard first, it, I'll put a link in the top of the description to the second channel, go check it out, and if you think you want to be a part of it, you can comment down below about the Pro Clubs team as well, and yeah, it should be a lot of fun, a very interactive series where I talk to you guys as I play, if you think there's something you might be interested in, go check it out. Also, you guys are welcome to follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter and it's important because I announce wherever I go live on Yan's Yard so do follow me on social media 
I also go live on Instagram sometimes, so follow at Football Yannick. Come hang out, come chat to me about football and Chelsea Football Club and all that kind of stuff. Right, that's it from me. Hopefully football returns soon and we can all talk about the beautiful game in a safe environment. Fingers crossed. So, that's it for me. You lot enjoy the football. That's sadly not happening at the moment, but might be happening soon. And I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me,